In general, when you're working with large documents, it's a good idea not to put all of your eggs into one basket. So the general recommendation is for something like a thesis that you compartmentalize the way that you work and keep each chapter as a separate file. What you can then do is amalgamate all of those files at the end when you're ready to actually produce the, uh, the, the, the complete thesis. So what we're going to do in this video is just have a look at how that process is going to work. Um, to begin with, what I've done is I've just created a new document based on my thesis template and I've gone through and just added some placeholder pages. So to begin with, I've got a title page here and that's um, got a section break after it because the title page effectively is not really related to uh, the rest of the document. So it can live in its own section. Then I move into uh, a contents based section. So I've got a placeholder page for my table of contents with a page break after it. Uh, then a list of figures again with a page break after it and then a list of tables. So after the list of tables I've put a section break because that is then going to push me into my uh, my main thesis area where the chapters are going to sit. So in terms of importing those, um, those sub-documents, if you like, your actual chapter files, what we're going to have to do is simply go to the Insert tab, move across to the Text group here, and then select the drop-down, which is next to Object. And the option underneath that is text from files. So what that's going to do is it will just take us to um, our documents folder. Uh, and I've already navigated to my thesis files. So generally it will push you to your documents, your my documents folder if you like. And then you just navigate to the correct folder. Obviously if your uh, thesis files are located elsewhere, it's a simple case of just navigating to them. So these are listed in the order that I want to pull them in, so I'm just going to go ahead and select the first one and say insert. Um, and then, once that's done, I'm just going to press uh, control and enter to put a page break in. And then I'm going to repeat for the remaining documents. And what you can see happening, hopefully, is that when I'm doing this, the, um, the styles are actually um, going in and renumbering. So when I created these documents and probably when you've created them, they've all been chapter 1, 1.1, uh, 1.2, but because um, the headings are fields and they're positionally aware, it's looking at what's before it and it's renumbering accordingly. So the numbering works itself out. So I'm just going to put the last file in. And there you can see that we now have our document assembled. Uh, the numbering is all correct. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, the one thing I will say is that um, there's a reason that I'm using page breaks to separate my chapters rather than the more conventional route which would be section breaks. And that's got to do with the way that we're going to look at doing headers and footers which will be covered in a later video.